This is ExactFlat Scan to Pattern, the faster, better, cheaper, and easier way to make patterns for all your products, and we'll show you how. There are three easy steps. Step one is to scan your part. Step two, convert your scan to 3D CAD. And step three is to flatten your CAD model from 3D to 2D and create your patterns. It works for any type of product. Let's take a closer look. Scanning is fast and easy. Here's an overview of the basic workflow. First, adjust your scanner settings. The Peel to CAD scanner can be used in target mode when targets are applied to surfaces, texture mode for parts with graphics, and geometry mode to scan any type of surface geometry. There are also settings for rigid and semi-rigid surfaces like the human body or seating foam. Two, set up your part so that you have a clear unobstructed access from all angles. Next, scan your part and be sure to keep the scanner about 30 to 40 centimeters away from the part, smoothly orbit the surface and refrain from over scanning to avoid unnecessary detail. In step four, you'll review your scan and if required, rescan areas that may have holes or need extra detail. Lastly, in step five, you'll finalize and save your scan. For pattern making, .obj is the most commonly used format. Scanning is easy and in most cases can be completed in just a few minutes. Now, let's look at the next stage. Convert your scans to CAD. We recommend the following steps to convert your scan to 3D CAD. First, assess your scan and plan the needed steps. Next, align your scan to the origin. Then, edit scan geometry by filling in holes, trimming edges, and eliminating surface bumps. Next, prepare your pattern shapes by cutting boundary edges, and finally, saving your file. Once we have finished converting our scan to CAD, we can begin the process of flattening our 3D model to 2D patterns. The following steps are used to flatten your CAD model from 3D to 2D. First, remesh to create optimal triangle count and shape. Next, flatten to create your initial flat patterns. Then, optimize the fit of those flat patterns. Next, we add features such as alignment notches, seam allowances, and grain lines. And lastly, we create a DXF file for nesting, cutting, or plotting. And there you have it. To recap, in step one, we scanned our part. In step two, we processed this scan and converted it to CAD. In step three, we flattened our CAD model from 3D to 2D to create cut-ready patterns. This is ExactFlat Scan to Pattern, and it works for any type of product. It's the faster, better, cheaper, and easier way to make patterns for all your products, and we'll show you how. Thanks for watching.